everything's slower right now. <laughs> what up? What's up, everybody? We are back. It is day two with Quentin. So today is a good one because we have Matt joining us today. So a little Camp Jansen workout. Um, we are going to hit here back. So pretty much just all back exercises today. Um, it's just going to feel out each other out. Matt actually hasn't seen Quentin in person training. Um, so it's going to be more so like... You know, just connecting the dots there for him, um, as well as me kind of leading the workout on what I've been doing with my programming. So, kind of a bait, you know, typical workout for me here today. Having that kind of guide it, you know, probably a few intensifiers just to feel things out and just have fun with this. But hey, we're both, <laughs> you guys can see we're both deep in our off season, so it's about moving some weight right now, um, creating a response, creating a stimulus to break down tissue, and continuing to eat, which we're doing a lot of too. So, Let's get after it. Let's start here. We're going to start with a little bit of T-bar row. So I'm kind of doing this new thing where I'm doing the main compound first. Um, so we're going to hit <laughs> heavy, heavy T-bar rows here to go. And we'll just start, keep breaking it down from there. that hang I, if I'm, I do it with one hand obviously you can kind of use your thumb as a little guide just go here yeah. tuck it and spin that's all it is so pull your hands down a little bit more like this way yes there that's it now from there be explosive full heart heart perfect good While keeping your chest on this pad, I want you to be explosive, but just keep your chest here. Okay, so as explosive as you can be without coming up off of it. What's that? 10 to 5? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure quite play. Yeah, let's do 10 to 5 actually. Yo! Stay over, stay over. There you go, there you go. So now, after that main compound movement, that felt good. That was the most I've ever done there. Worked up to four plates on the T-bar row. He got it for eight to 10, so that was really, really solid. Um, now a little bit more isolation work. So we're going straight into my um, re reverse grip, hammer strength pull down. So a single arm pull down, you can do cable, machine, um, whatever's easiest. I really like this one because of the under grip. So you're finishing really low into those low lats on the sides. Um, so we're gonna run this hard, top couple steps, and we'll keep moving. Same size, bro. 
<laughs> Is that true? What? You're the same size? I actually weighed 321 on the scale this morning. Ah, so bigger. Yeah. He's a skinny bitch. Come on, drive it down. Pull hard, pull hard. I feel you. Don't lose it at the bottom. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One more. Stay in it, stay in it. Big one, big one, big one. Pull, 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 pull. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Come on, Brad. on with the chain you know I'd put a 45 a 35 and a 25 in between my legs rep out like 12 to 15 pulls now I came and do like 10 pulls on my own like, <laughs> with my own body weight 
<laughs> it's just insane what that can do. <laughs> On a good day, I might get like nine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're moving on more of a lengthening one here, so a little bit more width. Um, so doing some assisted pull-ups, assisted pull-ups right in the middle here. Sorry to hit some heavy uh, T-bar rows, did the individuals on the left arm, right arm isolation holds. And then now we're gonna do some pull-ups. So like I said, a lot of new stuff for me, kind of confusing the body. Like I used to always either do pull-ups first or last. Now it's right in the middle of it, just to kind of create a new variation, create something that's gonna tear down the muscle more so I can rebuild it. So we will do this. Then we're gonna do another heavy, hard, um, chest supported row next. And then I'm gonna add a few fun things here at the end. We gotta get a measurement stick out. <laughs> got 25 inch. <laughs> What's that they say? They say, you might be the only person that probably has the calves the same size. It's supposed to be your neck, your bicep, your arms, and your calves should all be the same. If yeah. you're proportionate, but like none of us are like that. Yeah. Sorry, you, maybe you. Calf training is difficult. <laughs> the worst part about it is like seizing up when I try and do cardio the next day. Like going for walks and just... <laughs> Luckily I haven't got one of those in a while. I remember, getting, I remember when I was young, my first calf cramp ever. 14, whatever, 12, 14 years old. Yeah. It was in the middle of the night, I woke up. I thought I had a dog. I thought that my dog was like biting my, my biting in my calf. So I kicked my dog off the bed, but then re <laughs> then realized it was my calf, like it was cramping out. I just never had experienced it before. <laughs> it felt so bad. Like, Poor dog. <laughs> right? I was like, get up, stop! And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Come to find out it was me. <laughs> Damn, it feels good. Okay, we're selecting this prime piece. I love this chest supported row. I'm working on more back or mid back and lower lat thickness here. Um, so watch how we're setting this up. What I'm doing is we're positioning ourselves very high. Cause like I said, you want to finish the movement, drive the elbows down to where you want to work the part of your back. So we're working more low and low. So we need to finish mid and low with our elbows driving past us. So our seat is high, our butt is high. Um, we're far back with our chest in the pad. And we're just driving straight down. We're not using our traps. We're not dri driving high. We're driving low and through our lats, through those rhomboids in the mid back. So um, this is a nasty one, more so focused on perfect execution. We're setting our body itself up, or setting ourselves up with our body, and it's just about the path. So no cheating us, no swinging, just driving right through. Let's go. Good 
take one off. Good workout so far? Really good. <laughs> man, man, this is so works. funny because she just said, he doesn't talk much. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the workout so far? Extra sweaty. <laughs> yeah. No, it's been nasty. Like I said, I haven't had to pump like this in the back for a while, so really good timing for him to be here. And um, we're going to keep going heavy. So let's do some upper back now. Let's scope this. I think we're going to do the magnet next. Fill it up. Okay, so. So the upper here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mimic, I was supposed to do a, like a bent over dumbbell row. I haven't started those yet, so I'm gonna start it actually next week. Um, so we're gonna kind of mimic a dumbbell row here. So like, uh, we're gonna do this magnum row, but with the under, so still working low lat areas. That's a focus that both Quentin and I both need, more thickness in the low back, um, thinking creating with. So we're gonna do another movement here, focused on isolating that, and this is one of the best ones right here. You know I was complaining about my elbow last night? Yeah. I found, luckily my sister's a physical therapist, so like, I hit her up last night and she was just like, here, try this. Go up to, put your hand against the wall and then push against it and tell me if there's pain. I was like, no, what do you mean? It's just when I, I did this, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, she like, it's a, it's a tendon on the bottom, but it's from like forearm tightness. Yes. So that's what it is. I, she gave me some exercises to do to like alleviate and stuff. Oh. I was at home, I was like, fuck, this hurts so bad. Like, <laughs> Come on, Brett. Come on. Let's go. Yes. That's like perfect. I honestly think that hits what you were trying to hit there better. Because it's not, you don't have the freedom in the handle, so it's like forcing you to go down. That's why I like this machine. Same thing. Come on. Stay over. Stay aggressive. Ah. There you go. Come on. Now we go. Come go on. Hard, hard. Ah. Yes. Go. One more. Go. There we go. Yes, sir. You guys have this one up here? I used this last time I was here. It's good. You got, you got a lot of good stuff. You need that fucking prime a doctor machine. <laughs> no, you're just, you're just sick, of, sick of throwing plates on there. <laughs> the prime one is good. Oh, it's the best yeah. one. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. The, the one we have, I throw, I can put on like three plates within the gym. Yeah. <laughs> this oh. one, max yeah. it out like the same. Yeah. Come on, Brad. Yep. Come, on. Come on. Yep. Nope. Yep. Finish. Yep. Yes, sir. Ooh. Feels so good. I just get across. Come on. Come on. Yes. Just fade and go. <clears throat> oh, hard. Hard. Good. Come on. <clears throat> keep going. Keep going. <clears throat> Two more. Two more. Don't give up. Don't give up. Oh, one more. Work. Let's go. Separate yourself. So 
we'll I'll finish here with something stretching. Um, so we did a shit ton of rows there, a lot of chest supported, um, heavy, heavy rows. So now let's do something to finish here uh, to get lengthening. So I want to stretch out those lats, got a lot of blood in there. So we're going to finish today with pullovers. Um, you guys have seen me do this a lot. I love the mag grip. Um, so just set your hands in the right place. And we're putting our feet, our heels are elevated a little bit on this little bumper here we got, but you can either use a, a plate or something to stand on to elevate your heels just a little bit. to so make sure you're focused on pulling over and through the front of your lats. We're gonna create that big V taper, those wide lats on the front. Um, so this is gonna help accomplish that. So probably three working sets here, finish it off really hard. Um, and then we'll wrap up with you guys. Work, bro, let's go. <clears throat> Come on, Q. Control back, control back, control back, control back. Slow, slow. Good. All right, that was a good one. Big man, last day here. So I want to appreciate Quentin for coming out, um, getting some good sessions in, especially always a privilege that we get to get Matt here involved too. So Matt, real quick, I want him to talk to you guys really what the plan is for the rest of the year. I know I've outlined it a little bit, but he has a little bit more of the um, inside addition here. So go ahead. Yeah, so I told uh, Brett that I actually like methodically I wanted to try to actually see if we can get him fat like if that's even possible um, just to try to push it as much as we can from a food perspective you know for the rest of this off season and then for him we know he doesn't need as long to prep for the Olympia I want to give us just a little bit more time than normal um, but but I would say maybe somewhere in that like 14 16 week max range but up until that point like we're just gonna really just keep pushing keep pushing um, and then also too, you know, I, I mentioned earlier with, with Joe outlining his training, one thing that I think is gonna help that I, I mentioned to him last year during his prep is we, we basically have, because his metabolism is just so strong, it's this constant like feeding the metabolism to recover versus actually feeding it to improve. So by pulling back on the volume slightly, I think that's gonna allow us to actually allow the food to help drive progress even more. Um, but that's kind of like my, my goal and my focus is just to try to put as much food without it slowing his training down without it bogging him down, but just to get as much food in as we can, probably start to have to get pretty creative with it. Um, you know, a lot of fruit juice is one of the things that we're using right now, but just to really be aggressive with the food, because I don't think that we've redlined it from a food perspective yet, so just constantly being able to learn in that environment, and then obviously getting him in shape is not a problem. Um, you know, so really the work has to be done in the off season, and then we'll just let that show through during this prep, you know, but I'm excited. I mean, you get one shot at Olympia debut, um, and I know that with the time that he's had, he can really make good progress. Um, and it's just up to us to continue to do the work.